Kansas City has certainly proven it's a place to visit thanks to recent high profile events. But where those visitors will stay is up for debate tonight. An important topic here as summer travel season is right around the corner. Kansas City's council considering additional restrictions on short term rentals. It's a topic that some might call controversial and we've heard from so many of you every time we've covered this big story. Tonight, KSHB 41 News reporter Abby Dodge shows us why owners and neighbors are so invested in this conversation. Okay, so we have a nice open dining room here. Kristen Doppelt owns and legally operates her own short term rental. She helps manage about 70 others for her business, Cozy and KC, and started an alliance for short term rental owners. Getting to have people come in from all over and talk about how amazing our city is. And when they check out, they're like, we had such a great time. You know, we can't wait to come back. That is why we continue to do this. The city could soon force her business to change. Wednesday, city leaders will debate two ordinances. They would start a new registration process with harsher penalties for noncompliance and introduce density requirements, along with no longer allowing rentals in residentially zoned areas, unless unless the owner lives in the home. It's taking a lot of our focus away from our business and we're having to put it into spending time um, at City Hall, you know, trying to talk with City Council. Um, so it is, you know, a little bit distracting. Neighbors like Laura Burkholter say the proposed changes are essential to reclaiming their blocks from the hundreds of rentals illegally operating. There is a need, but they can't overrun the neighborhoods, and that's really what we want to protect. We understand that the neighborhoods need to breathe, and we want to give them that opportunity. We just don't want to see our business be completely eliminated. The city council says they're not going to stop short-term rental owners who are operating legally from continuing their businesses. But if new short-term rentals want to start operating, they have to come to more commercialized areas like down here in the crossroads to start their business. Instead of my having a relaxing afternoon, I'm going to spend it at City Hall to make sure um, my neighbors and myself um, are protecting our neighborhoods. Burke Halter says she's taking PTO to be sure these ordinances are passed, while owners like Kristen would like to push for more tweaks before they are approved in the weeks to come. Abby Dodge, KSHB 41 News.